what if you could be a Viking in Bannerlord? That braves the untamed seas surrounding Calradia in their longships, raiding towns and villages up and down the coastlines of Flandia, battling their way onto the shores and putting their torches to anyone who dares stand in their way. Well, this might soon become a reality with the magical power of mods. Mo 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 in this video, I will be showcasing a bunch of mod concepts made by Block, who I consider to be one of the new legends in the Bannerlord modding scene. His channel is down in the description. Make sure to go check out his stuff and tell him Koifi sent you. In this video, I will be showing off three of his Viking encounters that will give you a good idea of what to expect from future mods. I will be putting timestamps in the description, so feel free to jump around to the stuff that you find interesting. Now the concept of Vikings, raiding and sea battles isn't an entirely new thing to the Mountain Blade series. In Viking Conquest, a DLC for Warband, players could purchase a variety of ships and use them to travel over the in-game map, as well as fight massive sea battles. Sadly, there isn't anything like that in native Bannerlord, but with the magic power of modding, we get this. A fleet of longships menacingly drifting over the open sea, when suddenly a flash of thunder reveals the enemy, just a stone's throw away from them. The longships clash into each other, and the boarding commences. Javelins are thrown, axes clash against shields, and swords are drawn and put into the enemy. Scenes like this is exactly what comes to mind when you think of Vikings fighting on the open seas. Fighting on ships really creates an amazing dynamic, where one wrong step could have you fall into the dark deeps below, where a boat full of archers could keep themselves out of range from javelins or borders. The potential for amazing gameplay is massive, and it's such a fun and different type of battle compared to flat field land combat or massive sieges. But it's not massive sea battles that the Vikings are famous for. It's the raiding, and here we see the Grand Longship Fleet, having fought off the rival raiding parties in the naval battle before, making their way towards a coastal Vlandian village. This battle has a total of 800 troops, and to see them all come in on their ships, disembarking and charging at the defenders on the shore, is just such an epic scene to see. It almost looks like a movie, as they're all going up from the boats, and heading into the enemy. I truly think that it's this variety of battles that Bannerlord desperately needs. Imagine playing this from the defending side, setting up your shield walls, archers and siege equipment as you see how masses of ships arrive on the shores. What about naval sieges? Instead of sieging down a town from land, you attack it from the port with the potential of other ships coming out to meet you in defense, catapults and ballistas taking out entire transport ships, maybe even a wider variety of ships bringing their own siege weapons mounted on the boat. A ballista boat, a catapult boat, a battering ram boat? The possibilities are endless, and no matter where the modders go with this concept, I think that it would be a great addition to any Bannerlord campaign, and I honestly wish that Tailwords themselves would actually add something like this to the base game. But what is the main goal of our Viking invaders, if not to loot and pillage the enemy? With the main party of raiders having defeated the defenders on the beach, a smaller warband launches a surprise attack at night, storming the defenseless village under the cover of darkness. I've always found looting villages in Bannerlord to be a bit underwhelming. In Warband, it used to give you a lot of resources that you could sell for a nice price in towns. But in Bannerlord? You spend a good few days burning the village and get four cheese and a pile of coal. Even from a gameplay standpoint, the battles aren't really that fun. If the villagers decide to stand up against you, you'll face a small battle against a bunch of peasants that you charge in blindly and then retreat. But to actually get to play out a raid like this, seeing your troops set fire to buildings, cutting down peasants as they run for their lives, that just adds a whole other level to it. It's interesting to see how such a small improvement can make such a difference when it comes to gameplay. It's honestly amazing to see all of the great mod concepts coming out in the last few months, and I'm super excited to see all of them being implemented into actual mods that we can play in our playthroughs. There's way more than just Viking stuff though. There's everything from simple mechanics like pickpocketing to more complex climbing and assassination stuff, all the way up 
to goddamn intergalactic space warfare. Star Wars in Bannerlord. Banner Wars? Star Lords? May the force be with you, Vlandian. So if you want me to cover a few more mod concepts made by Block and others, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. Because I absolutely love checking these out. This has been Coinfish showing off the future of Bannerlord modding. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay cool my guys. Yeet!